If unpredictability was a country's name, then it would certainly be called North Korea. And given the pace with which the new world order is shaping up, even the closed and dictatorial country like North Korea is craving for normalcy and an avenue to leave behind the osmium-level sanctions levied upon it. Consequently, it is emerging that North Korea is leaving behind its affinity for China and its dictatorial doppelganger Xi Jinping and coming to the fold of Donald Trump, who seems to be pressing all the right keys of Kim Jong-un. According to a report in Hindustan Times, North Korean authorities have issued shoot-to-kill orders to prevent the coronavirus from entering the country from China. The Chinese had been banned from crossing the borders ever since the pandemic started, but the recent escalation has surprised many. In July, the state media said that Pyongyang had raised its state of emergency to the maximum level. U.S. Forces Korea Commander Robert Abrams said that the border shutdown had increased demand for smuggled goods, prompting authorities to intervene. The news reports state that Korea has introduced a new buffer zone one or two kilometers up on the Chinese border. They've got North Korean Special Operations Forces out there, strike forces. They've got shoot-to-kill orders in place, Robert Abrams, U.S. Forces Korea Commander said. The hostility, even in the face of a pandemic, is unprecedented from North Korea, which has been a lackey for China since the time of dawn. Amidst all the drama of Kim's apparent death and coma speculations, another interesting subplot has emerged in the North Korean waters, which shows that the tide is flowing against the Chinese. On August 11th, a North Korean patrol boat opened fire on a Chinese boat, killing three Chinese fishermen instantly who were fishing illegally in the North Korean waters. It wasn't the first time that a shipping boat had trudged in the waters of North Korea illegally, but the situation on most occasions used to be diffused by giving a warning or accepting some bribe. However, the killing of the fishermen was a first, and that left many international political pundits in a dizzy over North Korea's sudden provocations. The aggressive posturing from North Korea left Beijing befuddled, and before it could react, North Korea came up with shoot on sight order. China and North Korea have been thick as thieves in the past, sharing a 880-mile frontier that is especially porous in winter when rivers separating the countries freeze, allowing people to cross over. But the dwindling economy of the country and the crumbling healthcare sector cannot handle the pressure of coronavirus. With China getting cornered by the world powers in the aftermath of the COVID-19 pandemic, North Korea has seen it as a signal to dump its partner. The theory that North Korea is warming up to America and in turn to the world can also be gauged from the fact that the US President Donald Trump himself tweeted that the Korean dictator was alive and kicking. Kim Jong-un is in good health. Never underestimate him. The president tweeted, sending the conspiracy theorists and their Kamatoz theories into the dustbin. The fact that Trump is aware of his health shows that the US is deeper inside North Korea's internal affairs than many others, perhaps even South Korea, which had been claiming that Kim Jong-un was dead. Befriending the USA and jumping into the globalized economy is the golden bailout package handed on a golden platter to the dictator by Trump. All he needs to do is sever ties with China. Beijing no longer holds the leverage of economics in the region, as the border closure due to the COVID-19 